kind of squish on it. Let's just touch it. Oh yeah, that's perfect. But I had a fly go in my nostril. Okay. He's pretty. Alright, we'll keep on. We'll leave you alone. Wow, look how large this Aki is. I didn't know they got this big. Wow. Yeah, the, the seeds are poisonous, but the fruit's edible. But also remember that the fruit needs to be already open. If you eat it while it's closed like this, it can make you sick. It could really hurt you or kill you. And always remove the seed. So you'd want it a little bit bigger than this opening up. Or like this, and you can cook with the meat. I never ate it raw. I would just rather cook it just to be safe. But you'd want it at this stage. See how open it is? A little bit closed. It would work perfect. All right, let's catch it with Marjorie. She's leaving me. Oh look, is that the boa bad? How you doing? Alright. Pretty good. Okay, over there in the Australian section, there's a bunch of berries. Red, oh yeah? Green, and black ones, and they're called anti-desmas. Oh black cool. Black ones are edible. Really? It is, it has doubled in size. You remember that photo I took, you took of me? It should sound like your stomach, baby. I know how bowel sounds sound. <laughs> hey, I wonder if the camera can hear it too. It just sounds like a. Hold on. It's not moving though. I'm not hearing it right now. So I think this is called a boa bad tree or. Wow, this thing just keeps on growing. They said it fell over one time and they pulled it back over. Look how big this one's got though. No joke. These are the other ones. I heard they make a fruit, but I don't know if it's edible. I believe so. What a beautiful tree though, no lie. They're from, Ad Ad um, they're from Madagascar. I believe so. And they have to find ways to store the... Yeah, at least they're starting to put these signs though because people were rotting in the tree and it hurts them. I know. Selfish. All right. One dude was saying to go check out the Australian section. There's these little like, purplish berries. And I was messing with it. I said, can we get a ride? I gotta go. <laughs> okay. He almost ran you over. Yeah, he's gonna kill somebody. It's like I'm in another world, another planet. Just trying to find some fruit so you can see the fruit they make. Never tried it before. Just seeing coconuts on the ground from that tree. I think the fruits form in the cooler months here. I don't see none. So this is a tree from Australia. I think it has another name, but I can't remember of it. But here's the the name they give. Um, I know you're not supposed to pick off the trees. So I'm gonna try to find. Let's see a berry. Here's a small one. Yeah, this is it, baby. I looked it up. Okay. It's tart. It's almost like a blackberry. A little bit of sweetness, but it's a lot of tartness. This would be good for making wine. It's a very dark antioxidant. A lot of antioxidants in it. It's not bad, though. Wow. Yeah, I could see making 
Berries. Yep. Pretty good. Hmm. Tastes like blackberries with a lot of like tartness to it. I think it would be better to make like a, a jam or some wine with it. See how dark it is? What? Mm. A lot of antioxidants. That one tastes a lot sweeter. There's no mangoes. They all, they all went in people's mouths and belly or on the ground and something ate it. Here's gummy worm tree. I've always wanted to try this fruit. This one, oh, there's one that looks immature. Do I try it and get something or do I have run over that? Yeah, it's too early. Poop. One day, one day I'm gonna try this fruit. But dang, I didn't know it got this big. What do they call it? Calerpa or something else? Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if I'm saying that right. So I'm gonna just call it gummy worm tree. But it makes these long fruits and they say they taste like gummy worm. <sighs> One day. Real tropical right here. This is what I like about bamboo. You hear that? I can imagine you being a hammock. Mm -hmm. Look at that shoot. That's from a few days. It will shoot straight up. Oh, wow. That's too big to eat. I don't know if these are edible clumpers. Alright, we're in the little green. It's not a little greenhouse. It's a big one. Look at uh when them tropical almonds found their way in here. This looks like the Lacucci tree. And I'm not seeing any of the orange fruits, so they fell off prematurely. I can't try this one. Lacucci. This is the one I got growing in the greenhouse, and it's pushing the greenhouse up. What's that ball right there? That's its fruits. Oh. But for some reason, last year, or the few years before, they were already ripe, so if they're ripening later, that means the seasons are changing every year. Oh, look. That little, maybe tree frog babies. Oh, what's this one? That just flowers. This, uh, the limby right here. Sure is. Yep, the limby. There's uh, bread fruits. Do they have bread fruit on it? I don't know. Oh, I don't see it. Another sour sop, looks like. <laughs> Spider. Something fell over here, baby. Breathing here, there. Yes, it's crazy. It's crazy to uh, like a rambutan. I don't know. What, I don't know what that looks like. Hmm. Right, let's keep walking. There's a sour sop growing. No, that's way different. That's a myrtle something. Look at me being wrong. Ooh, that's pretty too. Lemon allspice. That's another breadfruit. What are these? Wow, 
Oh, these breadfruits are gorgeous. How big they are, you know? One day this will make fruit. Whoa, these are cool looking. Hey, baby. Let's go. Get a hand. Yes. Oh yeah. Up here should be the cinnamon tree. No. This one. Oh, I missed it. This is curry. That is curry growing. Leaves, curry leaf. Cool. Choo. One day I want to get some seeds for the cinnamon. But every time I come here, they're not making any seeds. This is Java plum tree. And I see an immature fruit right here, but it's not ready. Let me find a ready one. Any luck? Any luck with some water? Oh, awesome. That's even better. Here's that Java plum. Yeah, but a lot of the fruits are kind of old. Here. Right here's one. Uh, this one side has been messed with. Alright, let's try it. Alright, let's try this technique. Just rub it on you. What if I just ate it early and it ripened because it's got sweet like a plum at first and then it has a little bit of cotton mouth in it, just a tiny bit. Maybe it fell off early and it ripened on the ground. I don't know. Try this one. This one looks pretty good. Maybe it's the skin that's got the stringency in it. Yeah, it's the skin. Ooh, the skin's got... Alright, so the pulp inside is sweet like a plum. But the skin's uh, a lot of stringency in it. Like, kind of get used to it. But there you go. I get to try it. Look who found the Chipotle cobbles, my baby Marjorie. There's no fruit on there. Not yet. We can find some flowers forming on the trunk. Call this calypsing. These are some big ones too. Oh, well, these are like they might be about to make some flowers. This little Look at that. Such a beautiful tree though. I love that trunk how it peels off. These need a lot of acid soils. I just wanted to see a flower and a fruit just to get a video of it. You alright? We've got a few of them. We've got a bird nest in it. see any flowers or anything. I was hoping to just see a flower. Looks like it's about to flower. I'm seeing some like right in here. In here. And the fruits. I'm sure people will come and pick them off. There you go, Chipotle Cava. One day I'd hope to see mine be full of fruits.